Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom, Marcy Hillbrink, Mamacita. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Happy birthday to an absolute queen. It is time that the people who love you spill the tea about how much they absolutely adore you. And so grateful that God blessed them with you on this earth because you are an icon and a queen. So first of all, I would like to wish my very, very dear friend Marcy a very happy birthday. Bear with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marcy. Happy birthday to you and many more. Hope your day is as fantastic as you. Your lovely daughter sent this out so that people could tell you know, give you a little bit of how much we love you and, and do a video compilation for you. Marcy, hi, happy birthday. Hey Marcy, happy birthday. It's Andrew here. So glad to have you now on the East Coast here in Maryland with us. Hi Marcy, happy birthday. Many happy returns of the day. Happy birthday, you are so amazing. Hey Marcy, happy birthday. Just wanted to hop on here and tell you some things that I absolutely just love about you and how much I appreciate you. Happy birthday, Mrs. Hilbrink. Hey Marcy, happy birthday. I wish I could be with you to spend time with you on your special day. Mary was so sweet. She kind of had this little list of things for me to talk about with you on the video. Hi Marcy, it's Tina, checking in from Norfolk, Virginia. Just wanted to say hello. Bye, the veins. Or better saying, happy birthday, Marcy. Happy birthday, Marcy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Marcy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hi Marcy, it's Kathleen Crank here, wishing you a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Marcy! We are so honored to be on a video tribute to such an amazing woman as you. Hey, Marcy. Mary asked us all to send a little video to honor you for your birthday. Hey, Marcy. Happy birthday. Okay, here we go. What is my favorite good memory that I have involving Marcy? The road trip to Illinois to Lynchburg in 2021. What an adventure. There was drama, but it was fun. We landed in Milwaukee with flights coordinated so Bob Gorell would pick us up. We landed from separate locations, Maryland and Florida. Felt like a coordinated spy mission. Then there was no time to waste. We drove to uh, Bob's house packed the car, stuffed it from what we could from the, their garage area, and then we drove off. We went to various states and we made it to Lynchburg. Then Marcy dropped me off in Roanoke and bam, two days done. It really was an adventure. It was so much fun, Marcy. A lot of kids say how thankful I was when we have a time together in those companies filling our bellies and Tommy. You are always up for fun. Our families joining for many adventures. Mall visits like Geneva, movies, dinners, caroling, school performances, mini golf, Randy Stonehill, carnivals, etc. Many, many cherished memories. One of my favorite memories of you was I have these distinctive memories of when I was a little kid. I think it was around the time that you lived with us potentially. I don't know, they're kind of vague, but I just remember and I have these really sweet memories from my childhood that I hold near and dear in my heart, specifically of when you would take, I think it was before you met Mark and before you got married, but when you would take my brothers and I, this was before Elizabeth, but you would take us 
to Chuck E. Cheese or you take us to go get ice cream and we're just gonna sit in your car and cruise around town, listen to the Beach Boys. Just moments like that which were really sweet and that I, I really hold in my heart is really sweet and precious memories. It really communicated to me how much fun you were, you know? And I even dream about the one day, you know, I'm gonna be an aunt and a lot of the same things that I desire to be in an aunt were the very same things that you did with us and the same qualities that you manifested as that aunt that's like super fun, like let's get in the car and like go get ice cream or go have fun and you'd always treat us and you were so generous and even I remember doing things even after you got married and you moved out with Mark, like taking us to the park all the time and just spending a lot of quality time with us and Mark spent just as much time with us as you did and it was just really sweet and I really cherish that in my heart. So I just want to thank you for that and for creating those memories for us as kids because it did really mean a lot. Like I remember just even having you at the house as you know as the only girl in the house other than my mom obviously but before Elizabeth was born it felt like although obviously you were my aunt it felt like I had an older older sister and I could come up to you and like wake you up in the morning and we would have fun together but just having you in the house is really special and I I'm really glad that you got to live with us for however long that was sorry I really don't remember <laughs> But maybe it was a few years, but yeah, no, those were amazing times. One of my favorite memories is spending time with your family during the UP trip. And it was just really awesome and I enjoyed it a lot. Some of my favorite memories of Marcy and I being that Mary and Tyler were in class together was when those beautiful children were in the five stars together and they were singing and we did the mall and they actually won and got to sing on the stage. Um, that was a great memory. But all of the times that we prayed together in Toka, watching our kids grow up in such a wonderful environment. When you gave me the car for Ty, which was unheard of and unbelievable and such an answered prayer. Mom, my favorite memories with you are definitely the ones when we're planning parties, planning get togethers, cause that's what we do best. Oh, and when we plan like gifts for people, anytime we like plan and we go out and give things to others, and then also I love whenever I show you things and you encourage me and you hype me up. You always encourage me whenever I show you like a singing video or a dancing video. You're always like, okay, get it girl. And I'm like, ah, and it's so kind. Every time I spend with you is a precious gift, really. I have a great memory at the Silver Diner uh, with you and Drew when we were kids and the Manassas Mall Arcade with you and Mark. Some of the best memories ever. Thanks for taking care of me so much when I was little too. You really helped my mom a lot, I know. One of my special memories with you is just when we lived in Virginia and we would take Mary and Sam to Chick-fil-A, as Sam would call it, and just the special time you and I had to just sit and chat about the things of God and just the friendship that we shared. It was that that will always be a very special time in my life and, and the memories that I have of you. One of my favorite memories, actually I have like three favorite memories, you made a jar and then Hannah like actually roasted it and said like it wasn't even good and then you just like smiled and it was like the cutest thing because she was like mean and you just like responded with such like chillness. Um, another one is when we went to the Scandinavian fest and like it was freezing cold and you brought like so many warm fuzzy blankets and like a lot of the other kids too were using them and they didn't even know like that was you that brought them. I'll just talk about more like how that like shows how like special you are. And then senior year, every time Mary would make me get her lunch, it's just like all those, almost like every single day, I would just see you and just, it was like a good part of my day. So those are my like favorite memories of you. Happy birthday, Marcy. I have so many fond memories of you, but I want to share just my top three. The first one is the times that our families have spent together when you moved to Fox River Grove. We had so many uh, fun times. Then I enjoy the times that we've spent praying and interceding. There were some powerful times. And finally, a bittersweet memory was the night Karen, you and I spent at the hospital when Mark was called by Jesus. I just love watching your faith. Who would have known that two adorable little girls in God's timing 
would have introduced you to our lives and into our family. We have been tremendously blessed through the years with your friendship.